it's Addie, and today we are watching Fight Club. This video today is brought to you by Squarespace. Squarespace is the all-in-one website platform for building your brand and growing your business online. But we'll get into that a little bit later. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, welcome. Today we are watching Fight Club. And I've been recommended this movie so many times, I guess over the last couple of years. So decided it's just finally time to watch it. Let's just watch it today. So I have always thought of this movie as a sports movie and I don't think that's correct. <laughs> So, yeah, yeah, I, I I don't know what to expect with this one, but I don't exactly think that it's a sports movie anymore. I do know the quote, what is the quote? I'm going to butcher it, but the first rule of Fight Club is to not talk about Fight Club. It's, I, I imagine I just butchered the quote, but it's something like that. I mean, that quote is so iconic. I feel like this movie is so iconic. So it is just, it's just time for me to finally watch it today. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe for more reaction videos and let's get into Fight Club. Okay, we all know that the first rule of Fight Club is not to talk about Fight Club, but do you know what the first rule of Squarespace is? Okay, I don't know where I'm going with this, but unlike Fight Club, I'm gonna tell you all about it. Building a website is easy with one of their professional website templates. You can also start a completely personalized website with their new guided design system, Squarespace Blueprint. Choose from professionally curated styling options to build a unique online presence from the ground up. Squarespace also makes checkout seamless for your customers with simple but powerful payment tools. Squarespace accepts credit cards, PayPal, and Apple Pay, and in eligible countries, you can also offer customers the option to buy now and pay later. With Squarespace, you can also easily sell custom merch. Design your products and production, inventory, and shipping are handled for you, saving you so much time, money, and effort. Go to squarespace.com for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash addycounts to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thank you, Squarespace, for sponsoring this video, and now let's get back to Fight Club. But we're not going to talk about it. People are always asking me if I know Tyler Durden. Three minutes. Oh, this is, this is dark. In two minutes, primary charges will blow base charges, and a few square blocks will be reduced to smoldering rubble. I know oh. this because Tyler knows this. All of this has got something to do with a girl named Marla Singer. Bob. Bob had... You cry now. No, wait. Back up. Let me start earlier. How far back do we need to go? With insomnia, nothing's real. Everything's a copy of a copy of a copy. Something just flashed on the screen. Now I'm kind of afraid that there are going to be jump scares in this movie. You can't die from insomnia. What about narcolepsy? I nod off, I wake up in strange places. Mm. Yeah, it's kind of dangerous. Please just give me something. You need healthy, natural sleep. Come Poor on. Poor guy. I'm in pain. You want to see pain? Swing by First Methodist Tuesday nights. See the guys with testicular cancer. Mm. That's pain. And that's how we got there. What is flashing on the screen? That's happened twice now, or at least twice that I've noticed. It's time for the one-on-ones really open ourselves up Did you find a partner okay something flashed on the screen again are we gonna talk about it strangers with this kind of honesty make me go a big rubbery one good news you can cry i don't think he's planning on crying not today not here not now and then something oh. happened <laughs> it's happening I let go i did not expect this good for you i found freedom babies don't sleep this well <laughs> you finally got your sleep. You just needed to let it all go. If I didn't say anything, people always assume the worst. Oh, you're just going to all of these support groups. Now keep this going. Remember to breathe. Where does it lead? To your cave. Oh, what are we going to find in your cave? Your power animal. <gasps> oh, this is your power animal. We have a little power penguin. Solid choice for your power animal. Bob loved me because he thought my testicles were removed too. This was my vacation. And she ruined everything. This is uh -oh. cancer, right? This chick, Marla Singer, did not have testicular cancer. Is she doing the same thing that you're doing? 
I had seen her at Free and Clear, my blood parasites group Thursdays, then at Hope, my bi-monthly sickle cell circle. <laughs> His face! Oh, interesting. I mean, she's doing the same thing you're doing, though. Her lie reflected my lie. And suddenly, I felt nothing. So once again, I couldn't sleep. Dang it. We have to find something else for you. If I did have a tumor, I'd name it Marla. <laughs> now find your power animal. Uh-oh, she's in your cave! Where's the penguin? Is she your power animal now? She took over your cave. I'm on to you. What? Yeah, you're a faker. I'll expose you. Go ahead, I'll expose you. Yeah, you're doing the same thing. She can hold that against you too. You take lymphoma and tuberculosis. <laughs> you take tuberculosis, my smoking doesn't go over at all. Testicular cancer should be no contest, I think. Yeah. Well, right? technically, I have more of a right to be there than you. You still have your balls. Ooh, uh, uh, fair point. I'm gonna take the organic brain dimension, like okay? That. You can't have the whole brain. So That's far, you have four. <laughs> I only have two. Oh, and she's gone. Were there, e were, are those even your genes? <laughs> She is really living on the edge. Are you selling those? Yes, I'm selling some clothes. Those were we not her clothes. Three, that's six. What about the seventh day? I want ascending bowel cancer. The girl had done her homework. I want bowel cancer. <laughs> Take the first and third Sunday of the month. Deal. Hey, Marla. Marla. Maybe you're, you're we should exchange the middle of the road. Okay. Doesn't have your name. Who are you? Cornelius? Any of the stupid names you give each night? <laughs> yeah, what is your name? This is your life, and it's ending one minute at a time. Could you wake up as a different person? Do we meet at an airport? I prayed for a crash, or a mid-air collision. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, this is rough. And this is just in your head? Yeah. Oh. The would be unable or unwilling to perform the duties listed on the safety card. So is this how we meet? What do you do? Why? So you can pretend like you're interested. <laughs> I mean, I mean, just making conversation here. We have the exact same briefcase. Soap. Sorry. I make and I sell soap. Is this actually soap? And this or is, is how this... I met. Is soap Tyler a... Durden. Ah. Or is it like soap? One can make all kinds of explosives using simple household items. If one was so inclined. Tell you are by far the most interesting single serving friend I've ever met. How's it working out for you? What? Being clever. It's fine. <laughs> How I came to live with Tyler What an is, interesting guy. Airlines have this policy about vibrating luggage. It was vibrating? Nine times out of ten, it's an electric razor, but every once in a while, it's a dildo. <laughs> yeah. I don't own... <laughs> I had everything in that suitcase. Never mind. You just took someone's car? I suppose these things happen. You have such an interesting life. It's just one thing after another. Oh, that's your table. All your IKEA stuff. Do you have somebody you can call? How Marla. Embarrassing. A house full of condiments and no food. Oof. That that's what you're worried about right now. Oh my gosh. Of all of the things left. If you ask me now, I couldn't tell you why I called him. Where are you going to go? Is this Tyler? Hello. Who's this? Tyler. We met We met on the airplane. We had the same suitcase. Has he actually said his name at any point in this movie yet? Has he? Because I've only heard like what I assume are fake names. Couldn't be worse. A woman could cut off your penis while you're sleeping and toss it out the window of a moving car. I mean, yes. <laughs> that would be worse. My, my insurance is probably going to cover it. So. Things you own end up owning you. But do what you like, man. Hey, thanks for the beer. Yeah, man. You should find a hotel. Just ask, man. Three pitches of beer and you still can't ask. You call me because you need a place to stay. So just ask. Straight to the point. Would, would that be a problem? Is it a problem for you to ask? Can I stay at your place? Yeah. Oh, I really thought he was about to say no. <laughs> After all that build up. I want you to hit me as hard as you can. Why? What? I want you to hit me as hard as you can. Is this the start of Fight Club? Tyler was a night person. While the rest of us were sleeping, he worked. He had one part-time job as a projectionist. It affords him other interesting opportunities. 
takes place in single frames of pornography in the family film. Oh no. What are you adding to this movie? These poor kids. <laughs> oh, this child knows. Didn't catch Tyler at work. Huh. Is that what has been happening this whole movie? Little flashes? No, no. He was the guerrilla terrorist in the food service industry. Apart from seasoning the lobster bisque, he farted on meringue. Seasoning. Seasoning. For the cream of mushroom soup, well. <laughs> Go ahead, tell him. No, no, no. You get the idea. No, not a good seasoning. <laughs> So come on, hit me before I lose my nerve. This is, is this crazy. Really She'll go crazy. Let her rip. This is crazy. You want me to hit you? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's right. Surprise me. It won't be much of a surprise. You know it's coming. There's going to be a big wind up. <laughs> Mother! You hit me in the ear! Well, Jesus, I'm sorry. Ow! Why the ear, man? Was that enough of a surprise for you? Oh! Ah! Interesting. Huh. So I guess this is the start of our little fight club. I don't know how Tyler found that house, but he said he'd been there for a year. There was no lock on the front door from when the police or whoever kicked it in. It's spacious, though. I didn't know if he owned it or if he was squatting. Neither would have surprised me. <laughs> no. Turning on one light meant another light in the house went out. That water? That, that is not clean water right there. Oh, oh, we're, we're fighting again. Oh, are you guys going to get involved? <laughs> Hello, fellas. Yes, hey. Hey, hey. Can I be next? All right, man. Okay, so... Lose the tie. Everyone's getting involved with this. Interesting. Is this just going to get bigger and bigger? Every week, Tyler gave the rules that he and I decided. The first rule of Fight Club is, you do not talk about Fight Club. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I knew that rule. Only two guys to a fight. One fight at a time, fellas. Fights will go on as long as they have to. If this is your first night at Fight Club, you have to fight. Oh. Oof. Yeah, personally, this is not my type of club. Ah! Your face. You weren't alive anywhere like you were there. Even if I could tell someone they had a good fight, I wouldn't be talking to the same man. This is becoming such a big thing. Oh! Your face, your poor face! Let's stop this, let's stop this. How about next week? How about next month? Uh, yeah, yeah, we need some time to recover. Sometimes Tyler spoke for me. He fell down some stairs. I fell yeah, down that's some it. stairs. Uh-huh. Fight Club became the reason to cut your hair short or trim your fingernails. <laughs> it gives you purpose. Hello? What you well, doing back there? <laughs> I haven't seen you at any support groups. That was the idea, remember? Yeah, but you haven't been going to yours. <laughs> She's been going to yours. This is probably one of those cry for help things. Do you want to listen and see if my spirit can use a phone? Was this just, that was just a dream? Tyler's door was closed. I'd been living here for two months and Tyler's door was never closed. Ooh. You won't believe this dream I had last night. Yeah, I can hardly believe anything about last night. Was she there? Or was she with Tyler? What? What, what are you doing here? What? This is my house. What are you doing in my house? Cute. So you guys did hook up? And you thought it was a dream? Oh, you got some f***ed up friends. I'm telling you. Limber, though. Okay, okay. So she was with Tyler. Have you ever heard a death rattle before? You're gonna have to keep me up all night. Oh, unbelievable. And we know what happens next. You know what I mean, you f up. No, I didn't. Did you? Never? No. Oh, okay. Okay, at first I was like, wow, last night was crazy. And the it came out of this woman's mouth that I never heard. My God, I haven't been like that since grade school. Can't have you talking to her about me. Do you anything about me or what goes on in this house to her or to anybody? We're done. You promise? Yeah, I promise. I promise. promise. I just said I promise. What? what? It's three times you promise. Can't break a three times promise. Hello? Yes, this is Detective Stern with the arson unit. We have some new information about the incident at your former condo. Arson? It seems that someone sprayed Freon into your front door lock. Does this sound strange to you? Yes, sir. Strange. Very strange. Who would have done that? 
It means it was homemade. I'm sorry. This is Did just coming as quite a shock to me, sir. Do that? Who would go and do such a thing? I'll ask the questions. Tell him. So Tyler did do that? But you didn't even really... You didn't know Tyler at that point, right? You just met him on Have you flight? recently made enemies with anyone who might have access to homemade dynamite? Look, nobody takes this more seriously than me. That condo was my life. Are you saying that I'm a suspect? No, no. I may need to talk to you a little further. So how about you just let me know if you're going to leave town? Except for their humping, Tyler and Marla were never in the same room. Get rid of her. What? Hey, you get rid of him. I'm six years old again, huh. passing messages between parents. You know what? I really think it's time you got out of here. You are such a nutcase. I can't even begin to keep up. What are we doing tonight? Tonight? Yeah. We make soap. To make soap, first we render fat. The salt balance has to be just right, so the best fat for making soap comes from humans. Huh? A liposuction clinic. Oh, okay. I was kind of worried what kind of place this was going to be. Richest, creepiest fat in the world. No. Oh my gosh. Th and this is this is how you make. No, 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 ah, no. No, it's uh, it's all over you. It's all over you. This is how you make soap. I didn't need to know this. I didn't know, need to know how you specifically make soap. Yeah, with enough soap, one could blow up just about anything. Tyler was full of useful information. Can I see your hand, please? What are you about to do to his hand? This is a chemical burn. Ah! Ah! It'll hurt more than you've ever been burned, and you will have a scar. What are you doing? Why? 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 This is your burning hand. Why it's right here. I'm going to my cave. I'm going to my cave. I'm going to find my power animal. Come on! I get the point, okay? No. Please. What you're feeling is premature and light. You don't know how this feels. He's insane. Yeah, I guess he does know how this feels. Why would you do this, though? Why would you do this? Congratulations. You're one step closer to hitting bottom. Why would you do that? Tyler sold his soap to department stores at $20 a bar. God knows wow. what they charged. This is the best soap. If only you you knew what went into the process of making it! The first rule of Fight Club is you don't talk about Fight Club. The second rule of Fight Club... Is this yours? Huh? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Is the person who wrote that is dangerous. Well, maybe you just shouldn't bring me every little piece of trash you happen to pick up. Will you excuse me? I need to take this. Now I'm kind of worried where the end of this movie is going to go. I just don't know. I need you to check and see if there's a lump in my breast. She didn't call Tyler. I'm neutral in her book. Okay, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Well, that's a relief. Are we done? Yeah, we're done. See you around. Cornelius, it's me. Hi. Bob. Hi, Bob. Hey, Bob. Nice to see ya. How are you, Bob? Better than I've ever been in my whole life. You still remaining men together? I got something so much better now. Really? What is it? What is it? First rule is, I'm not supposed to talk about it. You're a part of Fight Club? I'm a member. <laughs> so many people are into this. This is wild. This was mine and Tyler's gift. Our gift to the world. I see a lot of new faces. Which means a lot of you have been breaking the first two rules of Fight Club. Mm. Which is not to talk about Fight Club. The first rule of Fight Club is you do not talk about. Oh, you brought a gun. Who told you, mother that you could use my place? We have a deal worked out with Irvin. You don't own this place. I do. I want everybody out of here right now. Hey, you should join our club. Did you hear what I just said? You and your friend. Oh, is everyone about to fight? Ooh. Ooh. Well, Lou, you're a part of Fight Club now. <laughs> ah, Lou. We really like this place. Uh. <laughs> Lou, you don't realize that Tyler enjoys this. Tyler needs this. Please let us keep you left. Please don't have the basement. Christ! I want your back. I'm oh my mother. Okay, so we can still use the basement. Wow. Thanks, Lou. Nice working with you, Lou. And I guess Tyler is just a legend to all of these guys. This week, each one of you has a homework assignment. You're gonna go out, you're gonna start a fight with a total stranger. 
normal people just about anything to avoid a fight. Yeah, me. That's me. I'm not trying to get into fights. Uh, we need to talk. Oh, are you going to pick a fight with your boss? Not a good idea. You're up for a review. Let's pretend. You're the Department of Transportation. Someone informs you that this company installs front seat mounting brackets that never pass collision tests. Are you threatening me? No. Get the f out of here, you're fired. I have a better solution. You keep me on the payroll as an outside consultant. My job will be never to tell people these things that I know. Security? Oh. Did you just hit yourself? What the hell are you doing? Oh, I see what you're doing. Wow. Oh. See, this is not worth it to me. Oh, thank God. Please don't hit me again. Oh my gosh. We now had corporate sponsorship. This is how Tyler and I were able to have Fight Club every night of the week. Tyler was now involved in a class action lawsuit with the Pressman Hotel over the urine content of their soup. And he put the urine in there! Tyler dreamed up new homework assignments. He handed them out in sealed envelopes. I feel like these homework assignments are just going to get crazier. You know there's a Fight Club up in Delaware City? There's one in Penn's Grove, too. Maybe. Yeah, did you start that one? No, I thought you did. Mm. You're just, you're creating so much chaos in the world. What are we doing? Homework assignment. What kind of homework assignment? Human sacrifice. What? Please tell me, please tell me that was a joke. Please tell me that was a joke. Give me your wallet. Don't kill him. You're going to die. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you study, Raymond? Stuff. Stuff? Stuff, stuff. I asked you what you studied. Biology mostly. Tyler. Why? The question, <laughs> Raymond, was what did you want to be? Veterinarian. Veterinarian. Oh. Animals. Yeah, animals. Too much school. Would you rather be dead? No. You're literally about to kill him? Ah. If you're not on your way to becoming a veterinarian in six weeks, you will be dead. Tyler. Tomorrow will be the most beautiful day of Raymond Castle's life. You had to give it to him. He had a plan. He didn't have to do that, though. The ability to let that huh. which does not matter truly slide. Okay, so he was never going to shoot him, but still. I'll be out of your way in a sec. You don't have to go. What, what are you getting out of all this? What do you get out of it? It's totally different with us. We're, we're... Us? What do you mean by us? What is, what is happening? What is Tyler doing? Who what? You're not hearing all that noise? Just hold, hold on a second. You're not talking about me, are you? No. What is that? It's nothing. Don't worry about it. Oh my god. Who did this? A person. Talk to me. Let go of me. No. Leave me alone. This conversation. This conversation is over. Is over. What, what, what is all this? What do you think? Hey, why, why do we need bunk beds? What, what are you doing? Too young. Sorry. Are people going to live here with you? The applicant then waits for three days without food, shelter, or encouragement. He may then enter and begin his training. Two pair of black pants. Yes, sir. One pair of black boots. Sir. Three hundred dollars personal burial money. Yes, sir. Personal burial money. All right. You're too old, fat man. What kind of place is this? Or what are you trying to do with this? Tyler built himself an army. This is this is a cult. Tyler has created a cult. In Tyler, we trusted. I would not put my trust in Tyler. Not for a second. Oh no. Did Tyler do something? Tyler did something. We believe this is one of many recent acts of vandalism around the city, somehow related to underground boxing clubs. It was just yeah! after that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Were all of you involved in that? Sir, the first rule of Project Mayhem is you do not ask questions, sir. Yeah, this is a cult. Helping up. What are you what are you guys doing? Awesome. Oh, they're all leaving. In the war against crime. Are they poisoning everyone? Is this floor about to blow up? Are you gonna kidnap this guy? You're gonna call off your rigorous investigation. You're gonna publicly state that there is no underground group. Or these guys are gonna take your balls. Do not us. No, no, no. Okay. Okay.
Why wasn't I told about Project Mayhem? First rule of Project Mayhem is you do not ask questions. Oh my gosh, this is a cult! You and I started Fight Club together, do you remember that? Is this about you and me? Yeah, I thought we were doing this together. You're missing the point. We are not special. Dad, you, you should have told me. I want to know certain things first. The first rule of Project Shut Mayhem. Shut up. What are you doing? Drifting. Take the wheel. Look at you. You're pathetic. Why do you think I blew up your condo? It was Tyler. Stop trying to control everything and just let go. Let go. I'm just right, confused because they really didn't know each other at that point. Right? They had only met on the plane, right? At that point? <laughs> we just had a near life experience. He is insane. You need to cut him out of your life. Tyler? Tyler was gone. Like for good? Was I asleep? Had I slept? Human sacrifices. The house had become a living thing. Disinformation, mischief. This is becoming so much bigger than I ever expected. All of this crime and all of these insane projects. Sir, the first rule of Project Mayhem is you do uh, not ask. Right, the, okay. All of this just started with people fighting each other. This is insane. Can I come in? He's not here. What? Tyler isn't here. Tyler went away. Tyler's gone. Are the cops here? Wait, what's, what's happening? What did you guys do? We were supposed to kill two birds with one stone. Assignment doing Destroy what? Destroy a piece of corporate art. And trash a franchise coffee bar. This is insane. We had it all worked out, sir. Okay, well, I mean, it went straight to the coffee bar. They shot Bob. They shot Bob. him in the head. In the head? Oh, oh my gosh! You're running around in ski masks trying to blow things up? What did you think was gonna happen? Yeah. Bob. Poor Bob. We gotta get rid of this body! Bury him. Take him to the garden and bury him. This is... This has gotten too big, too dark. He was killed serving Project Mayhem, sir. This is Bob. In Project Mayhem, we have no names. This is a man, and he has a name. And it's what Robert What has Tyler Paulson. done to you guys? In death, a member of Project Mayhem has a name. His name is Robert Paulson. His name is Robert Paulson. His name is Robert Paulson. This is, this is crazy. This is wild. His name is Robert Paulson. His name is Robert Paulson. I mean, Tyler isn't even here. Tyler is gone, and they're still just brainwashed. Tyler? No, this is Detective Stern of the arson unit. I need to see you in the office. Oh, gosh. I'm looking for Tyler Durden. It's very important that I talk to him. I wish I could help you. Yeah, I don't think he's Sir. Oh. As soon as I set foot off the plane, I knew a fight club was close. Oh my gosh, he has started a fight club everywhere. I guess it's escalating in all of these cities too. We've just heard the stories. Like nobody knows what he looks like. He has facial reconstructive surgery every three years. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's Mr. Durden building an army. Oh my gosh, this is terrifying, honestly. This is turning into a war movie. His name is Robert Paulson. This is insane. Welcome back, sir. How have you been? Do you know me? Is this a test, sir? No, this is not a test. You were in here last Thursday. What? Who do you think I am? Are you sure this isn't a test? No, this is not a test. You're Mr. Durden. You're the one who gave me this. What? Wait, now I'm worried that Tyler Durden never existed. That this has all been in his head. Because he's an insomniac, and he's talked about how he's always in, like, a dream. More like me. But have she's interacted with both of them. Done what? Have we ever had sex? What kind of stupid question is that? Oh, wait! He's never seen them in the same room together. You show me a sensitive side, then you turn into a total asshole. Is that a pretty accurate description of our relationship, Tyler? Tyler Durden! Tyler Durden, you freak! What's going on? Wait, wait! We've literally never heard his name! You broke your promise. Talk to her about me. 
one simple thing. Why do people think that I'm you? So Brad Pitt doesn't exist. Uh, answer me, why do people think that I'm you? I think you know. Why would anyone possibly confuse you with me? No. Do not Say it. Say it. Because we're the same person. Oh my gosh. Tyler's not here. Tyler went away. Tyler's gone. What? That's impossible. I mean, that makes sense. So that means that he blew up his apartment. That makes, okay, that makes sense now because they ha didn't know each other super well at that point. Brad Pitt wouldn't have known where he lived. He did it himself. You're just letting yourself become Tyler Durden. Now you see our dilemma. She knows too much. I think we're gonna have to talk about how this might compromise our goals. Are you going to kill Marla? Have I been Tyler longer and longer? Deja vu all over again. Whoa. Uh, I need to talk to your supervisor right away. Is he trying to blow up all of these I think locations? something really terrible is about to happen at your building. You have got it's under control, sir. Don't worry about us, sir. We're solid. Marla! Marla! Hey! Marla! I gotta talk to you! Marla, we do need to talk. Well, listen, I don't want to hear anything you have to say. You have every right to be. I'll just have a coffee. Thanks. Sir, anything you order is free of charge, sir. Uh, he's a part of Fight Club. <clears throat> you got about 30 That's... seconds. I did not know that this movie would have such a twist. I'm, I'm trying to tell you that I'm sorry. I care about you and I don't want anything bad to happen to you because of me. Your life is in danger. What? You need to leave town for a while. You have very serious emotional problems. Yeah. He's starting to discover it. Hold it right there. Shut up. Fight Club. Shut up. Oh my gosh, so many people are part of this. Why are you doing this? I can't explain it right now. Just trust me. If I see where you're going, you like will not be safe. I'm not paying this back. You're the worst thing that ever happened to me. I, I'm afraid you're going to die. I mean, you're going to die. Tyler's going to kill you. Also, that driver was a part of Fight Club. Everyone on that bus might be a part of Fight Club. Chapters have sprung up in five or six other major cities. I believe the plan is to blow up the headquarters of these credit card companies and the TRW building. I really admire what you're doing. What? Are they all apart? You said if anyone ever interferes with Project Mayhem, even you, we gotta get his balls. It's useless to fight. It's really a powerful gesture, Mr. Durden. I'm not Tyler Durden! You told us you'd say that, too. This is scary at this point. <gasps> I got him. Is, so it, is this about to, to happen? Mr. Durden, stop fighting! Get away from me! Drop this knife! Drop it! Face down on the floor, both of you, right now! Are you still not wearing pants? No, you are not. Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, Christ. Now what are you doing? I'm stopping this. You know, there are 10 other bombs in 10 other buildings. We're not killing anyone, man. We're setting them free. Bob is dead. You want to make an omelet, you got to break some eggs. No. I'm not listening to you. You're not even there. Wouldn't do that. Uh. Not unless I knew which wires for what. If you know, then I know. I mean, that's true. It's risky, though. Well, anyone but the green one. But are you just saying that? I don't know! <gasps> I asked you not to do that. Oh my gosh, this is wild. You are now buying a gun at your imaginary friend. Come on, Tyler! Tyler! But it's not gonna do anything, because he's not actually there. Don't go! <gasps> This is wild to see the security cam footage. I mean, it does look like he's fighting someone, but Brad Pitt isn't actually there. Ah! Ah! Yeah, that, 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 like things like this, I don't understand. The security cam is showing him being pulled away. This is wild. Is he just like throwing himself around? I think this is about where we came in. Would you yeah, like to say a few words so. to mark the occasion? I still can't think of anything. Think of everything we've accomplished, man. Is that the bus Marla is on? Why is she here? Tying up loose ends. Oh, if you're gonna kill her. I'm <gasps> begging you, please don't do this. I'm not doing this. We are doing this. This can't be happening. It's already done, so shut up. I can figure this out. This isn't even real. You're not real. That gun is. That gun is even in your hand. Interesting. We are raising the stakes. It's you and me, friends. Mm, I would not want to be friends with you. I would not want you in my head. My eyes are open. Did 
Did that happen? Ah! So that really happened. But I imagine the bombs are still going to go off. Oh my god. Is he still- how is he still alive from that? Are you alright, sir? Oh yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> He's not okay. Let her, let her go! Christ almighty! Hi, Marla. Leave her with me and get your stuff. I'll meet you downstairs. What kind of sick game are you playing at? Putting me on a but Oh my god, your face! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Who did this? I did, actually. I'm really okay. Is other Tyler Durden officially gone? You met me at a very strange time in my life. Uh-huh. What a romantic picture we have here. Oh my gosh. I'm curious. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I feel like my mind is just goo my mind is melted i'm curious if i go back to some of the earlier flashes if i'm going to see something graphic like what was just shown at the end i'll, I'll see while i'm editing it because i'll be able to see like frame by frame i probably won't want to see it but i'm curious if if it was that the entire time oh my gosh i now see why this movie has is so iconic i mean even what like 25 years later i now I now see why. I didn't know. I didn't know that this movie had such a twist. And I wasn't expecting it. I mean, there were a few moments here and there. I literally, going into this my entire life, I thought this was a sports movie because it was called Fight Club. I could not be more wrong. Um, Yeah, I wasn't expecting the twist. <laughs> I'm still, I, I do feel like I need to watch this one again, just to like see a lot of those moments that would have hinted at that. I mean, maybe I should have picked it up sooner. I mean, there were a few moments that I just thought were weird and that I thought it would make sense later. And it did. I mean, I, I un understood it when it revealed the twist. I mean, I did realize that they hadn't said Edward Norton's name because I, I kept wanting to like, talk about his character but i didn't know what to call him and i but i also thought that like maybe i just missed it a few times but i mean that was very intentional because it was it revealed that he himself was tyler durden <laughs> i mean that was very intentional also the the fact that they never showed brad pitt's tyler durden and marla they never showed them together in the same room i mean I, I guess it's it's calling Edward Norton's character the narrator in in the cast list. So I mean, the narrator said that how he felt like this was when he was a kid and talking between his parents. It, they mentioned that they were never in the same room. Also, whenever Marla and Brad Pitt, Tyler Durden, <laughs> I don't know how to like refer to them. Whenever they first hooked up, it was kind of unclear if she was hooking up with. Brad Pitt or Edward Norton's character. And so once it was revealed, it all makes sense. And I feel like it when I go back and watch this, it like I will just pick up those pieces earlier now knowing the twist. I truly didn't know that even a twist was going to happen. This movie literally blew my mind. This movie is mind blowing. I had no idea that it would get as big as it did. I mean, I just thought that this was surrounding a, a, a fight club I mean, I mean, that's how it all started. I am a little interested. I'm not going to overthink it because I'm, my brain will definitely overthink this movie. But I'm curious how all of it started because it showed Brad Pitt and Edward Norton. It showed them fighting and that was the sort of fight club and then more, more and more guys got involved. But I don't know. I don't know. I'm not going to think about it too much because my mind is just blown and my mind is just goo right now. But wow. What? a twist. I didn't expect it to get so big, so culty. I mean, he had people working for him all over the country. I mean, it seemed like everywhere you turned, there were people working for him. I, I don't know. This was just insane. I mean, yeah, just how big it got, how culty it got, blowing up all of these buildings. I mean, this, the, the, this is crazy. This was crazy. But I am looking forward to watching this one again, just to kind of put a lot of those pieces together. This is wild. I mean, 
the two of them, Edward Norton and Brad Pitt, they're so good. I don't I don't think I've ever seen Brad Pitt in a movie where he's quite this he he's so unhinged. I don't I'll have to like go back through the movies I've seen him in, but I don't I don't think I have. Wow. I mean, they were both so good in this and I'm definitely looking forward to watching this one again. I I mean, I I'm going to be thinking about this the rest of the day. My mind is truly just blown. Wow. 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 Well, this was Fight Club. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe and we will see you next time.